Should schools be allowed to randomly drug test student athletes? The Plainwell School Board in Allegan County voted Monday to randomly drug test high school athletes. Fox 47's Megan Heiler has the details. What's the point of this? I believe the point is that we all want to have a healthy environment for our students. We all want to make sure they're drug free, non addictive lives, as successful adults. And I believe sports teach that. And by holding this over their head, I'm worried that we're going to lose that point. In a letter sent out to parents in the district, Plainwell High School principal Jeremy Wright explained the reasoning behind the program to deter drug use among students. But according to a local attorney, the random testing could open up the district to lawsuits. Because it is a public school district, there is uh, the ability to challenge whether this uh, clears the hurdles that the Fourth Amendment requires the government to clear. Um, so, you know, there could be litigation. Kids in grades 9 through 12 on both JV and varsity sports teams are subject to the random testing along with voluntary extracurricular activities like musicals and honor society. Kuntz says that there have been court cases in the past about the controversial topic. The Supreme Court has held that when we're talking about public schools, there's a lot lower level of expectation of privacy. Um, the students don't check their Fourth Amendment rights at the door, but they're not as robust as, say, when the kids are at home or when the kids are on their phones. The MHSAA does not implement or enforce anything to do with policies like this because they are already regulated by the state but they think a lot of schools are trying to work on the problem. The school is taking this very seriously, and a lot of schools that aren't testing are taking this very seriously too. They're just using different strategies, but this is a very important topic, and, and athletics is obviously a big part of physical fitness, things like that, where we're emphasizing health when it comes to athletics. Kids can face suspension from their activity or even dismissal from it if they test positive. Kuntz gets the reasoning behind the policy, but hopes it doesn't backfire and make less kids want to try out for the team. Policies, they are probably most often legal. Again, not every single one is going to be legal, but that doesn't make them a good idea. I'm Megan Heiler, Fox 47 News. Kuntz also said there's a reasonable concern about false positives on the testing because common prescriptions can come up as banned substances. Many schools have anti-drug and tobacco policies, but the MHSAA only knows of two in the state that are actually testing for them. Neither one is local.